Welcome to the first episode of Mr. Holster Lives. Yeah, we need a new name, Jack. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Taurus. Yeah, kind of appropriate, huh? So let's get at it. It's the last string I'm going to shoot. I'm going to call it a day. Good start for this gun. No problems at all. Went through 50 rounds. I've kind of, kind of begin to like this thing. It's, believe it or not. Well, today we're going to look at a little bull. Yeah, here it is right here. A Taurus 856. And here it actually is right here. It's an all steel. Yeah, all steel. You heard it. Yet There's some people out there still making those in all steel. That's what this is. And it's pretty much like an 85, hence the name 856. The difference being it holds six rounds. Same frame size, basically. They're showing it on the, their website as the small frame. Same frame size. And I'm going to take from that uh, that it's probably pretty much the same frame size as the old 85. It's pretty identical in size to a J-frame, so it'll fit in a J-frame holster. It'll fit in, in my holster for the SP-01, so is that it, SP-01, SP, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So it's not making an upside, a real upsize to it, and I think they can get away with that because it's in 38 Special. They can make that fly. It is, however, rated for plus P. So, and I think nowadays, if you're looking at a 38, you pretty much better find one that's rated plus P because you're going to have a hard time getting any decent results unless you're using that plus P. So, any rate, very accurate gun. For what it is, I was quite impressed with its accuracy out there this morning. Can't complain one bit about that. This is one we're going to have for the next six months. It's given us to use for six months and run it through the ringer and see how it how it works. Because I decided, well, yeah, it's nice to have one to review, but, you know, and I said it a couple weeks ago, you get one and go out there with a box or two and run it, you really can't say anything except for it worked that day. And on this, this is a budget item. And I think on a budget item like this, you really need to get out and use it for a long term to be able to give anybody a yeah, that's an up, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let's put it that way. So that's what we're going to be doing for the next six months is getting out and going with this. This morning so far, no disappointments. It ran flawlessly. And the accuracy was just fine. And I was, I'm very pleased with the setup on it, the basic, basic setup. There's some things I don't like, and, and I'll go in more in depth on that on my Patreon page. If you want to run over there and check out the full review so far on it, there it's free. You don't have to be a Patreon member, and there'll be a link down the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. There you go, guys. There's the start of something. For the next few months, the Taurus 856. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to our first episode of Saturday with Mr. Holster. Hey, Jack, there's the title, Saturday with Mr. Holster. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, from Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe.